Hello, um, thank you for joining um, the Knowledge Crystallized uh, Crystal River Cruise training session. Um, this session is all about um, the dining on board Crystal River Cruises, as well as some of the kind of entertainment and social spaces as well. Uh, my name is Megan Saunders. I'm the Trade Sales Support Exec um, here at Crystal. Um, and yeah, we've got a whole host of um, new kind of training sessions all online on our YouTube channel. Um, so it's something about um, Crystal River Cruises, um, some of the hallmarks, uh, some of the different accommodation, destination, shore excursions, that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're interested in our ocean product as well, we've got sessions on that. So um, again, looking at the different kind of accommodation, the dining options on board, the ocean product, the entertainment all that kind of stuff so um if this is the first session you've found fab um but please do go back and kind of listen to some of the others and um swat up on on the different aspects of the ocean and river product um so hopefully you've all eaten today um otherwise we're we're about to get quite hungry um, we're going to talk about um some of the dining on board uh, the river product um so our ships um the food is absolutely amazing. Um, so it's all Michelin inspired, it's all farm to table. So you'll often um, see the chef get off in various ports, um, sourcing local kind of fresh ingredients. Um, a lot of the food um, on board is um, tailored around the destinations that we're traveling in. So um, uh, trying to focus on some of the um, speciality, uh, the local specialities in the regions that we're dining in. Um, we actually have one of the largest galleys of um, river cruise ships throughout um, the industry. Um, so that means that we can prepare everything fresh to order. Um, it's not a, a sort of uh, big production line where they quickly make everything up and then it's sat there waiting for you to order. Everything is prepared freshly um, when you're on board as well. Do do look out in your um, reflections for those galley tours because it's really interesting to go through and see the different sections. Um, our galley operates 24 hours a day. So there's always someone in there, whether it's um, the bakers cooking freshly made bread and pastries and things ready for breakfast service in the morning. Um, to the various, yeah, various different things that that need preparing um, throughout all hours of the day. Um, because of that, because of the twenty four hour nature of the kitchen, we do offer twenty four hour room service as well. So um, guests can enjoy um, whether it's a sandwich or um, an, a really early risers breakfast, something like that. That could always be accommodated. In our main dining room, so Waterside is our main dining room, and I'll talk about some of the different dining options. But Waterside, we offer um, open seating dining. Uh, so we have lots of tables for two and four. So guests can kind of turn up um, at any point during the dining uh, service and sit with whoever they want. So if they've made friends on a shore excursion earlier that day, they can join those um, friends. If they just want a nice evening, the two of them, they can do that as well. There's really no pressure. Um, they can kind of eat with who they want and at what time. So um, just to kind of run through some of the different options and places where guests can dine. Uh, so uh, starting kind of towards the top of the ship, we've got the Bistro. Um, for anyone that's been on our ocean product, uh, this is very similar to the Bistro that we have on there as well. So this is our sort of coffee bar, bar and lounge type area so you've got some really lovely specialty coffees that they do here uh, for breakfast and lunch this is also set up as, as a sort of little buffet um, so they'll have like a continental breakfast on there um, different kind of fruit salads uh, pastries that kind of stuff and then uh, towards lunch you'll get something similar to what we've got here with a little salad um, some kind of different muffins different breads and then towards the afternoon, they'll change it again and you'll have different snacks. Um, so different cakes and little nibbly bits that, that if you're in a need of an afternoon snack, this is the place to come. Uh, during lunch up here, they'll also have um, a little menu as well. So what we can do is um, the pasta of the day, the sandwich of the day, um, a burger for people that want something a little bit um, lighter they don't they don't want um, a large lunch uh, down in waterside they can have something up here um, quite light um, 
in the evening in the bistro. Um, it's not every single evening. Um, so when you get on board, definitely check which nights this is on. But they do a tapas evening up here. It's really, really lovely. Uh, something a bit different from the kind of main evening dining down in Waterside. Um, so when it is on, I'd highly recommend to come up here and have that. Um, the beautiful kind of bits of salmon, cured meats, um, different sliders. Yeah, all sorts of really lovely kind of tapas style dining um and it's something a little bit different so yeah definitely um always worth once once guests are on board recommending that they they do ask when the tapas evening will be in the bistro because um it's it's a, an evening that you don't want to miss so waterside is our main dining room um, as you can see named because you get beautiful views of the the surrounding areas as you're sailing along or even if you're docked beautiful um, views of the city that you might be in. Um, as you can see, as I said earlier, lots of tables for two and four. Um, we do have a few larger tables of kind of six that are round, uh, so for the larger groups that want to sit together, that can also be accommodated. So for breakfast and lunch um, in here, this will be uh, set up as a buffet. Now, traditionally on a lot of river ships, the buffet would run sort of down the middle of the, the restaurant. We don't have that um, here on Crystal. Um, as you can see right at the back of that image, you see the little doorway into the uh, buffet area. So it's kind of tucked away right at the back um, so that during uh, dinner in the evening when um, it's, it's not a buffet, um, it's not an eyesore right there in the middle of the <clears throat> restaurant. So... Um, I mean, saying a buffet really isn't doing it justice because it is absolutely beautiful. Um, for breakfast, eggs are made fresh to order, whether you want them scrambled, sunny side up, however you like your eggs, they'll be made for you um, fresh in, in front of you. Um, during lunch service, they'll have um, big um, kind of shoulders of meat and big joints of meat that they'll carve fresh and if you prefer a different part of the the joint that's no problem and they'll carve you um the bit that you specifically want they'll have a pasta station where they're making fresh pasta um right in front of you so although it is a buffet um it's it's a really fresh really lovely um yeah great great food and then in the evening obviously it's it's a la carte um so you'll have a menu it's table service beautiful wines so on crystal all of all of the dining so far that i've mentioned it's all absolutely complimentary so there's no additional charge to any of that um all your, your all your drinks are included as well so if you if you want a glass of champagne at lunchtime that's no problem that's all included for you the dining this is the only dining option that's not included so this is our vintage room and again um very synonymous with our ocean product um yeah it's um the same um idea uh, same concept uh, so this is a special uh, tasting menu uh, so guests can enjoy uh, a seven course uh, meal and along with that comes seven different paired wines or champagnes that go along with the meal um the domain here in the vintage room lies with the uh, head sommelier so the head sommelier will pick um, some wines, uh, usually that will kind of highlight and showcase some of the wines and the regions that you've been traveling through as well. Because obviously um, along the Rhine and the Danube, there's some beautiful kind of vineyards and wineries. So showcasing some of those, um, he will then put together the wine list, show that with the head chef, and then the chef will put a meal together um, around those wines. So um, usually it would happen the other way around. The chef would come up with the menu and the sommelier would pair the wines. Here it's all about the wines. The wines are chosen first and then the meals are paired around that. Um, so for any guests that have um, a special occasion or that they're, they're celebrating um, or they just really love food and wine, this is the perfect evening for them. So there is a, a cover charge to this. Um, uh, it's around $150 or euros um, per person um, on the river. We operate all in euros. So, yeah, it's um, it does vary depending on if it was just two of you. Obviously, the charge would go up um, because the, it, 
there's a lot of work that goes into putting together one of these nights so it's better to kind of have it as the full room um you can do it privately and, and just have your own party in there or as i say you can kind of book two um seats at the table and hopefully fill it up with um some other guests on board that perhaps you don't know um and it's a great opportunity for you to kind of meet um around your uh, passion for kind of food and wine so um yeah really lovely uh, different dining experience to be had there um and as i said this is the only one that is uh, chargeable so then a little bit about some of the social spaces um on board and some of the entertainment obviously with um river cruising the entertainment is all a, a little bit different to our ocean um but still there's some really lovely stuff um going on around the ship uh, so we have multiple bars and lounges um lots of kind of spatial pub spacious public areas we do have a little spa as well um our spa therapist is dedicated just to the spa um so she doesn't take up any of the jobs uh, she's hired for crystal by crystal um to to work solely in the spa um, and then we also have a little fitness center as well and i'll show you that um in a little bit uh, but this is Palm Court, so this is the main hub of the ship. This is where a lot of the um, lectures and enrichment stuff will happen, destination um, lectures and things like that, that will all happen here. Evening entertainment will all happen here. So this is the perfect place to come for kind of a, a pre-dinner cocktail or a post-dinner cocktail while you enjoy some piano music or something like that. Um, I've got a little video to show you now, um, which will kind of go into some of the entertainment um, in a little bit more detail from some of those on board that actually do it. You had the great thing to be able to perform. You had the great thing to be able to perform on crystal ships is that you have people from all around the world. So it becomes a really fun, fun challenge that you have to create a show which includes everybody. My name is Stefan Mullen and I'm a classically trained singer. Whenever our ships are in port, late night or overnight, we bring on high caliber local entertainment to supplement the onboard entertainer. Mum took me, I think I was 12, to St David's Hall in Cardiff and I heard the Vienna Boys Choir, which is very strange because I'm here now in Vienna, with Jose Carreras and he's sing, singing La Donna Mobile from Verdi's Rigoletto and I was like, what's that? What's that? I want to do it. And I said, oh, that's opera. Opera singing to me is actually the art of communication and actually when the opera is written very very well people don't understand the words but they understand the sentiment good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to that someone i always ask who are the guests and, and i'll adapt the program with my pianist in order to let include people so up to that point maybe at the beginning of a cruise everyone sticks in their groups but then through music they have a bridge to communicate, so whether that's a beautiful song, you know, what's it really about, where does it come from, the guests then start to interact. What I love about Crystal, absolutely, is the atmosphere. The atmosphere is so um, friendly, so when people come back, it's like coming home. They have a second home. So yeah, exactly. As you said there, um, it really is um, a great feeling when you step back on the ship after being on board before and it really is like coming home. Um, so some of our other favourite um, areas on, on our river ships, we've got our lovely Vista bar. So this is our pop up bar, actually. Um, so on some other ships, this is kind of be the wheelhouse that pops up and down depending on um, uh, water levels and if we need to go under low bridges and things um, on crystal of course it's a lovely bar um, and it pops up and down um, so when it's beautiful weather and you can kind of sit at the top and and enjoy the scenic scenery um, scenic sailing 
and on the, the reverse side of that that you can't see is, is a TV screen. So if there's um, kind of live sports or things like that, tennis, um, Wimbledon will often be shown on there. Um, any kind of sporting matches that um, are kind of well worldwide will play those up there um, on the Vista deck, which is really lovely. Um, lots of lovely kind of cosy spaces to in um, some of the colder months kind of wrap up with a hot chocolate and read your book and, and enjoy um, the, the scenery in the changing months and then um, it more in the summer kind of enjoy kind of lie out and get some sunshine and um, enjoy the scenery that way as well. As I mentioned, we do have a spa on board. It's just one treatment room. Um, so uh, there are a um, limited amount of treatments that we can do, um, obviously space permitting, um, but there's a good good choice there. And as I said, the um, spa professionals are all dedicated just to um, working in the spa. So you won't find them um, at dinner service, for example, one evening. They're, they're just there um, trained professionally um, for the spa. And then there's our little gym as well. So um, some lovely bikes. Um, I think we've got some rowing machines, some different um, free weights as well. Um, we'll have a fitness director on board every crew, so they'll put together different programmes. Um, we have bikes on board, um, so in various ports where it's um, allowed, we can go out and do different cycling tours. Um, and they'll the fitness director puts together different um program so they might do pilates one morning up on the top deck um, on that vista deck um, yoga uh, sometimes circuit training all sorts of different stuff and then we have our little pool at the back of the ship so this is a really gorgeous relaxing area um, it's 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 not a large pool um, so you you wouldn't want to swim up and down but what it does is it has a, um, a resistance wave so you can actually swim against the resistance so almost like a treadmill where you'd kind of run on the spot um in the pool you can kind of swim on the spot so you swim against the resistance so you still feel like you're getting a good workout in if that's what you wanted to use it for um or if you're like me i just got in turned it on and pretended that was the jacuzzi function it's totally up to you um how you want to use it but really gorgeous views this is at the back of the ship so you can see exactly where we've been sailing um yeah really lovely so there we go that's um a quick round up then of the different um dining options on board a crystal river cruise um as well as some of the kind of social spaces some of the entertainment um kind of fitness and wellness options as well um as i said earlier please do um go on our youtube channel you can see it's the bottom one um on there uh, the cruise portfolio that's where you'll find all the other sessions on um crystal cruises and crystal river cruises and yeah keep in touch with us um via our twitter facebook um our various blogs and instagram posts as well we we love hearing from you so please do keep in touch <laughs>